A few weeks ago, I was scrolling through the television channels and stopped on CNBC for a few minutes. As luck would have it, I tuned in right as the CEO of Weed Maps, Chris Beal, was on live discussing their acquisition by Silver Spike Acquisition Corp. Weed Maps is a leading marketplace and technology platform for businesses and the cannabis industry. I'll get into the specifics of their business in a minute, but I thought this could be a really cool way to invest in marijuana without having to take the gamble of investing in the businesses that are growing and distributing marijuana themselves. So in this video, we're going to take a look at both Silver Spike Acquisition Corp, ticker SSPK, and the Weed Maps business. I want to look at what Silver Spike was doing prior to the acquisition because I think it suggests a really promising entry point for investors. Then I want to take a look at what's happening after this acquisition and what it means for the stock itself. Lastly, and most importantly, we're going to take a closer look at Weed Maps to show you guys why I think this might be one of the best ways to invest in cannabis. So if you're looking to add a little exposure to the cannabis industry in your investment portfolio, stick around because you don't want to miss this one. Silver Spike Acquisition Corp, just as it sounds, was created to acquire and merge different businesses into a single conglomerate. And this kind of business is known as a SPAC, or Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Essentially, you invest money into a SPAC, which then takes that money and acquires businesses. But until they acquire a business, they don't really do much. With Silver Spike specifically, they're focusing on businesses in the cannabis industry, which typically have a very hard time getting financing and funding from traditional sources. And this is primarily because of the complicated legal status and regulations surrounding marijuana. Banks and other federally regulated institutions can provide the financial services that new cannabis businesses need to get going. So Silver Spike positioned itself to be a source for cannabis businesses to get that funding. Their IPO earned them about $250 million to work with in their effort to provide growing cannabis businesses with capital. Their next step would be to identify growing businesses and acquire them to earn returns for investors. And until just recently, Silver Spike hadn't taken that next step. They IPO'd in August of 2019 and they didn't make any moves for over a year. This is why the share price was completely flat around $10 and had next to no trading volume at all. Since there is no underlying business here, they had no real operations or profits. They had just been holding their money until the time came to buy a business. And finally, on December 10th, 2020, Silver Spike announced its move to acquire Weed Maps. Weed Maps has two components to its business. One is an online listings marketplace, which serves as something like a Yelp for cannabis businesses. So consumers can go on there and explore cannabis businesses and products, read the reviews, and even order products online in some cases. The second component is software as a service, which is carefully designed to give cannabis businesses the tools and data they need to scale their businesses in an incredibly complicated industry. So Weed Maps works directly with thousands of cannabis businesses, but doesn't actually touch any of the green stuff itself. Weed Maps was founded in 2008, so it's already been involved in the cannabis industry for quite some time. And as they boast on their website, this has earned them deep relationships throughout the cannabis supply chain and a deep understanding of cannabis policy, both of which they use to lead the industry from a technology standpoint. So until this acquisition, there was no way for the average investor to invest in Weed Maps. And now that it's as easy as buying Silver Spike stock, I'm going to run through the four reasons why I have been buying into it. And these are the historic growth of Weed Maps, the future potential of Weed Maps, the competitive advantage of Weed Maps, and the fact that I think it's a safer play on cannabis than other stocks in the sector. First and foremost, Weed Maps has already shown impressive growth through recent years. Its revenue has experienced a compound annual growth rate of 40% for the last five years, and it's expected to bring in $160 million of revenue in 2020. It's difficult to break down these numbers much further as they haven't been required to report them formally since they weren't a publicly held business. So we don't have much more insight yet other than what has been reported with this acquisition. But these numbers obviously sound pretty promising, and as loosening regulations allow the cannabis industry to grow, I can only assume that Weed Maps will grow alongside it. And that brings me to the future potential of Weed Maps, which is what I find particularly exciting. Currently, their platform boasts 10 million monthly users and 18,000 business listings. It's becoming the largest platform for marijuana consumers to research and connect with marijuana brands and products. Considering that the cannabis market is expected to double over the next five years, it seems likely that new businesses and consumers entering the space will gravitate to the Weed Maps platform. And while the platform seems like a great idea from a consumer standpoint, I'm really investing in this for what Weed Maps offers to businesses, specifically their cloud-based software as a service subscription. Silver Spike CEO Scott Gordon says Weed Maps is transforming the e-commerce experience for cannabis by building the only comprehensive business in a box software solution for cannabis retailers. According to the Weed Maps website, their products include point of sale, logistics, wholesale, and ordering solutions that enable clients to scale their businesses while complying with the regulations applicable to the cannabis industry. So I'm piecing this together and I'm loving what I'm seeing. Weed Maps provides a complete software solution for cannabis businesses, which is something that would be unimaginably expensive and complicated for a business to accomplish on its own. 
There are a lot of people who expect cannabis to be a very lucrative industry. And because of that, I think the sheer number of new cannabis businesses that are going to be created suggests a huge demand for the weed maps business and software. When businesses across the country start racing to establish themselves before their competitors, they're going to need easy and scalable solutions. Weed Maps will provide just that, and they're currently positioned as the number one choice for that service. Zooming out a bit, software as a service has been a booming and resilient industry in recent years, and one that hasn't slowed down at all through the pandemic. So I really think this could be Weed Maps' biggest opportunity as a business going forward. I'd be really interested to see how much of their profits currently come from this segment of their business, so that's something I'll be looking out for in the coming year. Of course, it's important to consider that other businesses could also enter the space and disrupt Weed Maps' path to growth and market dominance. And this is something that was addressed specifically during the interview I caught on CNBC. They asked, what's to stop a company like Yelp or Shopify from replicating what Weed Maps is doing and bullying Weed Maps out of the space? And when it comes to this, the complicated and evolving regulations surrounding marijuana are actually an advantage for Weed Maps. Since Weed Maps has been in operation for over a decade, They've been on the forefront of adapting to these changing regulations and ensuring that their clients do so properly as well. Their platform and software are strategically designed to comply with the diverse legalities that are enforced by different states, cities, and counties. A lot of big players can't get into this niche because it's still so controversial and regulated. If they did, it'd be too big of a headache for most of them. And cannabis businesses can't go to other e-commerce or business solutions because no other provider has the regulatory expertise and compliance that Weed Maps offers. By choosing Weed Maps, a business can rest easy that they're complying with all of the requirements in the industry, and they'll get a software that is designed specifically for their products and services. So this emphasizes why I think that Weed Maps software service shows huge potential, and why I personally believe that they have a pretty safe moat around them in terms of competition, especially as long as marijuana legalization continues to be an evolving and complex issue. Finally, I think Weed Maps could be a safer play on cannabis than picking one of the few cannabis stocks currently available. Most of the options are marijuana growers and distributors, but these stocks have been full of setbacks and financial difficulties due to the evolving regulations of the industry. While the thought of picking the big weed stock of our time is enticing, I think it will be difficult to do so because there are so many variables and compliance issues with each of these businesses. Meanwhile, Weed Maps is already operating and fully profitable wherever marijuana is legal. Regardless of whether cannabis becomes legalized federally, will continue serving the businesses that pop up in weed-friendly jurisdictions. And since they're not involved in the actual cultivation or distribution of marijuana, they're better removed from the risks of those parts of the industry. As an investor, you don't have to worry about a single marijuana business taking off because the thousands of businesses that are successful will continue to come to Weed Maps to scale their business. Therefore, I think this is going to be an excellent way to profit from the growth of the marijuana industry without the risk of selecting from traditional cannabis stocks. So let's recap. Weed Maps recently got acquired by Silver Spike Acquisition Corp, which marks the business's first acquisition since their IPO in mid-2019. The stock jumped about 30-40% to on this news, but I think this is just the beginning. This is because Weed Maps has demonstrated strong growth over the last several years, and with the support of Silver Spike, they'll now be able to take the business to the next level. They have a nice platform, but I think their biggest potential is their software-as-a-service subscription for cannabis businesses. This is a highly valuable product that other SAAS providers can't easily offer because of the nightmarish regulations throughout the cannabis industry. And this is their advantage. With over a decade of experience in the industry and their complete focus on cannabis and compliance, they offer something that leading tech providers can't easily compete with. This could be a bigger advantage the longer that cannabis legalization gets dragged out in the country, but still looks favorable with Biden taking office in early 2021. Lastly, as a company that doesn't directly handle marijuana, I think they're protected from some of the biggest risks that plague the cannabis industry. For these reasons, I've been buying shares of SSPK on a regular basis, and I'll continue to do so as long as the price stays within this range. This isn't financial advice, but I am going to be cautious with these purchases, as this is a pretty high-risk investment in a controversial industry. Regardless, I'm looking forward to seeing what Weed Maps accomplishes in the months following this acquisition, especially as they begin to file formal quarterly reports with the SEC. So let me know what you guys think. Is marijuana too risky for you, or do you agree that this is an interesting opportunity in the industry? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Happy investing, and I'll see you next time.